Okay, testing. Test sound. And we're good. Alright, hello everyone! Alex Man here, and welcome to session 4 of Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Seas. This is a, again, this is a blind playthrough. I've never played this before. And uh, last session, uh, we went to the guild folks uh, drop, and uh, we went through three different instances. Where one was, uh, oh, after Oceanhorn, we can meet our billion better world together with Arcadians. Oh, yes, we never heard about this. We need the Coral Saber. That's what we need to, uh, save the world. Uh, last session, we, uh, we got into Guildford's drop. Uh, we got, uh, uh, we went, did a little roundabout in terms of progression. Uh, like, uh, we had to go into the cave, in order to get to the, uh, em Emblem of Ocean's Dungeon, uh, we had to go into the Cavern of Fire, and by going to the Cavern of Fire, we need the Ice Spell, which was in the old fortress on a different island, get that spell, go back to the Cavern of Fire, get that spell, go into the Frozen Temple, and get that, and get the Emblem of Ocean. As well as we got our new boots... Which allow us to dodge roll, but also to jump over small, ignorant gaps. So, we can now go and get stuff that is cur well, it was currently a a locked away from us. And I saw a heart piece here in the middle of their of uh, the guild folks drop. So I'm going to try to go there. I just realized I'm actually at one heart. <laughs> oh, this is not good, is it? So we can roll now. That's... I... Not sure why the roll takes stamina, because you know, like, oh, I guess it makes sense in some regard, but okay. So there's something up here. Can we get over here now? The chest here. Can I roll over that or? I was gonna have to you know how to jump across, and I don't know how to use this item effectively. So let's just get back and see how far we can get in deck in here and see if we can get that heart piece. Because I saw a heart piece on top of a shell in this land and I want to get it. It's that thing over there. But how does one get there? Can I dodge off of this? I can. There's a path on the opposite side that allows us to get there. That has to be the way. Hmm. What do you have to say again? Anything is possible. Yes, sir. Anything is possible. Just hope and see if we can actually get that heart piece. But it just seems to me that we've got this new ability. We should be able to use it. Ow, I just died. <laughs> Curse that thing. Oh, we had Resetally back here. I kind of forgot I did have only three hearts, <laughs> or one heart there. That was it. That was that was embarrassing. Well, at least we weren't too far back. To an understandable point. So let's sit back. Let's see if we can get this heart piece. Because it seems to me that we should just be able to dodge roll or jump our way across to get it. Because it just seems so much sense. Oop, can't. I am by fire. I'll take my heart back, thank you. The heart you stole. So let's head. Okay, so the boots do nothing in water. Okay, that makes some sense. There's that log I threw up there. I'm not gonna get that log back. Again, I wish I could see a little bit better. Like, 
There should be a way to get up there. In some fashion. We don't want to go back into the- we don't want to- we got everything out of the dungeon. I just want to know how to get to that heart piece that's above. Creates a spiky bridge with a key to gain past the gate. Oh, there's that- I, there's the answer to that puzzle we figured out earlier last session. Hmm. Go back up here. See, uh, where? Like, again, I wish I could expand the map just a little bit more so I could see what was going on. I'm just seeing, okay, there's no pathway to get there. There just, there has to be a way for me to actually get up there somehow. With that gate down, you can't get across without... Okay, this is nowhere we need to go. This is just the way to, the, to that dungeon again. I wonder how you get there. It is complexing to say the least. We can hit the reset button and we can reset all these things back to normal, but that wouldn't really help us, would it? Unless it's... No, that's not a bomber wall. Or is it? Well, we don't need to go into this place right here so we can reset this puzzle so we can get across again. Uh, can I jump over this? No, I can't roll up. That. That's the way to the. There has to. See, there has to be something. That looks like a hole in the wall. Can we get to. I just blew up the plants. Hmm. There has to be a way to get up there somehow, and I just don't know. I just don't see a way up there. I'm hitting all the walls so I can see if there was some, if there is any type of hidden passageway, which seems like that would have been. No, that's not it. All right. Well, hmm. just gotta figure out where do you go. That guy responded. That was one thing that this game has a trouble with is respawning enemies. Like very quick. It's like an arc it's like an arcade style of notion. It's just kind of awkward. How do you No, I didn't want to put that I want my booth back on. Can't get up there. How do you get up there? There has to be a way. There's a bloodstone up there, too. It, okay, what game is this? Uh, this is Oceanhorn, Monster of Uncharted Seas. A sort of a Zelda-esque game of sorts. And I'm trying to figure out right now is how to get to uh, this chest right here, as well as that heart piece that's up there. I don't see a way around. The camera isn't helping. Is there a pathway of some kind in here? The camera is in a really awkward state. Also, the, they give you the option to turn the camera, but the camera doesn't want to move from a certain angle. I just don't know how to get that heart piece up there. Or that chest, for that matter. 
Hmm. Maybe something will come to light on it later. So I hate to look up a guy just for it because this is I'm making this as a blind run as much as possible. So we're just gonna head back. Spend a little bit of time here. Maybe, maybe I'll figure it out or maybe something the guide will tell me. But uh, we're just uh, going to have to figure that out later. Because we got these boots now. That we can now jump basically any small gap. So we can go to any of the islands we've been before. And get some of that, some of that sweet chests that were out there in the distance. Ha, I blocked your shot. <laughs> Ow! Curse you! <laughs> and these guys just appeared too. Huh. Okay. Let's get off this island. It's Hermit again! After the catastrophe, a, dis a, dis bleh, a disciple of Misroth must have been traveling the world and cursing the emblems to suppress their power so that the world could not heal itself from Thross toxics. Come back to my island. We have to get the last emblem, the emblem of the sun. All right, we're on the NC. We can go back to Hermit Island and continue the story. But let's go to Bomb Island first. I think there was a chest there that we couldn't get before, but we're going to get there now. Come on, I want you to... Don't let that rock hit me. You will die. I need the monies. I also need the hearts. I got hearts. Yeah! Woo! Alright, to Bomb Island. We've already done all the challenges here, but there was a chest I saw earlier here that we could not get, I think, because of uh, because we couldn't jump without our boots. So let's head that way. Let's see what that chest gives us. As well as we, need, we always need more experience. That is always needed. So I think it was it out here? Yes, it was. Yeah. There's, there's a bloodstone. Oh, yeah, it wasn't a chest. It was a bloodstone. Because now we could jump with our boots. I don't know why we couldn't jump earlier, but whatever. Get this bloodstone real quick. Again, the whole boots making you making you jump is such a stupid idea. <laughs> it's like what how was I not able to jump before? <laughs> before the boots. So I think that's all we can get now here. Cause I think we got everything else except for that bloodstone. So we can now head back out and head to another island and see what we can get from this boots. Also, I need to head back to that town island just to see, because I think we have enough bloodstones to do something with them. We have 25 of the darn things. Should be able to do something with them. Okay, oh wait, is this, uh, was that... I think there was another one over here that we can get. So let's head this way. Let's head to this island, this island off in the distance. And let's see what we can do here. We already got the, like, the main reward that was here. I think it was a heart piece, I believe. But I think there was something we could do here that we had to jump a cliff for. Yeah, there's a chest up there. That we couldn't get. A, oh yeah, it was a bloodstone we got here earlier. That's what it was. But there's a chest here that we couldn't get to because we could not jump. So I guess now we can jump. And let's see what this chest gives us. It's a beautiful necklace. It's worth 100 coins. Okay. So that's all we had to do for this island. This island is 100% done. As far as I'm aware of. So let's head off to another island. Let's go. So we could see... Okay, we also need to go there. That's what we need to go to, too. Well, let's go to 
Tickerel. I think I said that right now. Ah! No! Bring all this stuff up here. Let's go back to town. <laughs> the one challenge here is that we have to spend 2,000 coins to get experience. So we're only going to be here for a short while. Because I think... Oh yeah, there was a, there's a treasure chest that's inside a cave here we can get to. I think now, since we can now jump small gaps, we can now get this. It was in the, uh, this... Yeah, this cave here, I think. We can go down here, and I now think that we can... Can we jump down this or no? No, we can't. So there's a chest right there we could probably now get, but now we have to get down there. that we could open that chest experience 25 a rough explorer crystal we got this way and I think now we can actually jump these now so let's see here oh. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we can get this. This has been bugging me for at least this was bugging me for a couple of sessions. This <laughs> is getting this treasure chest and this little bloodstone here. That's the third of six. And when we get here, a heart piece. You found a heart piece. Collect four. These increase your maximum health by one heart. How many do we have? We have three of four. Okay, so we got that chest taken care of. Was this island the one that has... I, I'm trying to remember this is the one that has that. Yes, it does. It's right there. And that hole right there I need to get back to. So let's head back that direction. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, there's a girl. Hello. Here, take this. I picked up this beautiful stone for you. A stone. I think it was full of secrets. I can see you're carrying a bow. I feel like I saw a target somewhere. Hmm. Aha! There was a target. Let me get our bow. Can I actually hit it from up here or no? Not yet. Cool! Treasure chest! Though I think, if there was anything bad about it, I think that item should have... Wait, do I can't... I think I was trying to make it over here before, and I couldn't. Because I ran out of stamina too fast. So maybe I can't get that now. Hmm. Well, let's see what's down here. Oh yeah, this guy. Hello, sir. I think I have enough for you. Bones appeared after the catastrophe. That's why there are so many stories about them. Some believe there are shards of trail loss. You've collected enough bloodstone, a lot of bloodstones, but not quite enough yet. I have 26 of the things. You don't want them now? Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't really know what collecting these things do in the end and all, so... This, check the jar away. I can try to go for that chest, but I don't think I can make it, though. I have to make it to the opposite side of the island. But I think my swimming just ends too fast. We have to go through a lot of instances to get to it down there, so... I think we'll head off and head back to Hermit Island and see what we can do with the story. So let's head there. Actually, no, we don't want to head to Hermit Island. We can head here. Riptide Reef. Let's go this way first. This is an island we uh, found, I think, in Session 2. 
or at least we're able to know the knowledge of it though. Oh, I didn't want to hit the B. But yeah, keep going. There we go. Get this guy out of here. It is said from uh, that an eight that the coral saber is rumored to be on this island. But we couldn't explore this island earlier because um, uh, we couldn't jump any small gaps. But now we can. So now we can get through this little awkward island. Get this thing out of here. Get my boots on first. Take you out. Uh, here. Beware, fellow Avengers. If you want to go any further, you'll need the trencher boots. So we already have the trencher boots, and now we can get this. You're just standing there menacingly. I don't like you. Bomb to the face! Yeah, see, now we can jump across whenever we want. It's so nice. There we go. We get an old boot. Oh no, it's just an old boot. You found one coin inside of it. Oop. There we go, there we go. Come out of you. I'll take you down, you skeleton. I'm gonna take this jar and throw it over here. <laughs> There's a bloodstone here. Go grab this too. It takes a lot of swipes just to get this to kill these bloodstones. Is there anything down here? Nope, there's nothing there. Can't jump from way there. There's a t there's a puzzle that we can reset. So it's a block pushing puzzle. Oh, another bloodstone. I'll take it. Because again, I don't know what these things do. I'm not sure you're supposed to collect all of them for the reward or not, but. I'm on. I'm hitting it. There we go. <laughs> All right. There we go. Do a little spin attack and do a lot of damage. There we go. Okay. Now where do we go from here? A locked door. Or a door that's sealed. You know, in reality, I feel that, you know, this door is locked. It was an ancient door you cannot open. And you go and get some bombs, and you're just like, oh yeah, I can just open up with bombs. There we go. Aha! Up here for a treasure chest. This place looks pretty tame. Oh, we got arrows. Not bad at all. Checkpoint. With my last ounce of strength, I set up trials for anyone who's trying to claim the Coral Saber for himself. Only a righteous warrior can get his hands on the legendary weapon. Bone the Brave. Hmm. What does this thing say? They bear the same armor and share the same vows, but in the cruel hour they are pushed to a duel. Do I have to push this into a... Ooh. So I need to take... Well, that's not what I thought I could really want. I need to take out these... Some of these boxes here and... There we go. Can I not push that thing? Or do I have to swim around? I think the, the button only resets the statues. I think. If that's the same thing to go by, because that's the only thing I can push. The master key. You need the master key to open this door. Even though I could probably, in a real, real scenario, just walk around here and do around the wall. But, uh, nope, can't do that. Okay. 
So the real question is, how do I get up there? What does the switch actually reset? Resets the boxes and everything. So... Let's see. Well, I can get above. I don't care about you, skeleton. So I can get above around here. Push this down. Let me push you back. And I can have to do is wait. Oh wait. I can do that. Get my bombs out? No, I don't. Do 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 bombs. So put a bomb out like that. I'm going to push you down. Oh, did I not do that right? No! Oh, I can put out you. Curse you, little skeleton. Die. I didn't want to do that. Okay. I was hoping to push this guy down. No, I can't push that guy. Hmm. I can push that back, but I can't get back around, though. Have I really doomed myself now with this? I blocked myself off. Unless I could just somehow get a back around. I can get back around and reset the puzzle. Okay, that's new to me. The enemies can hurt themselves. <laughs> you learn something new every day, and I need that bombs. No. How'd I miss? Oh, snap! I'm not sure what I just did, but uh, it was effective. I need to reset that box back. Because I need to push the, the statue so they look at each other in a duel. And I'm pretty sure that will drop the chest that requires the master key. Come on. Nope, nope. I fell off again. All right, come on. This island is being picky. That one's being way too picky. <laughs> I've set up trials for the righteous hero. How about giving me the ability to jump off a, a high ledge and just maybe walk over there? <laughs> okay, can I just jump this real easily like this? Yes, I can. Push this like that. Okay, we need to push you like there and push you down like that. Push you like that. Oop. Well, I can uh, potentially I can walk through the things. Okay, bombs. Now we got this in the right spot. Do like that. And then we can push the... No, let me grab the statue. Cool. That unlocks the door. Though, and if it was a realistic setting, you could just really take a, you know, a really high good explosive and blow down the door. But I digress. This ruin holds a secret deep under the spot where the widows weep. Okay. Is there a chest over there? Well, there will be a chest here as we figure this uh, this little thing out. Let's see. What do you got here? This section of the island has something of the devil where the widows weep. 
<clears throat> well, that would be... That would have to be a bomb. Perfect. That's the master key. Woohoo! Now we can go through the master door on this island and the master chest that would be potentially be on this island. Which is that chest way over there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can now run around and get to that exit. Oh, I didn't mean to throw a bomb. I need to get my boots back on. <coughs> Sorry for my cough in there. Hold on a second. That should clear it up nicely. <coughs> Alright, what's this challenge? You have shown wisdom and power, but now we have to show courage. What? <laughs> but your final trial is still heavy. Attempt to pull the coal saber from the sea folk's head. Only a true champion can succeed. Does that mean we need more hearts? If that if we need more hearts. <coughs> 25 XP from that rough crystal. A lot of dust in that chest made me cough. Ooh. Oh, I can pull it out this easily. We now have a new sword! Well, that was easy. I didn't even have to try. Wow, this thing's doing a lot more damage. That was awkward. I thought I had to really do something in order to actually get it. But let's see what we got in the master chest. Heart piece! Oh yeah, it is right. The magic does increase how many heart pieces you get. Oh, well, that's a little... Yeah, get out of here. So, well, I was... That was something. <laughs> I think it was kind of a luck luster Master Sword pull, but whatever, we have the Coral Saber. We have the Legendary Sword that is supposedly able to defeat Ocean Horn. Now we just need the symbol of the sun and we can call it good. I think. <laughs> do I have to swim across? Yes, I do. There we go. We need someone who is righteous in every ounce of the word. Uh, it's just, it's just barely in the uh, in the skull. You're perfectly fine to grab it. Okay. Whatever. Well, we're done here. <clears throat> Alrighty. We can now. Let's see. What else can we go? I'm not sure there's any more stuff at the old fortress. Let's see, Southwest Isle, Gifford's Keep, we got a Hermit Island, let's go! Off our way! Hit the bird! Can we hit the bird? Oh, come on, let me hit the bird! Oh. It's a selective cannon, it can only hurt enemies, and birds are apparently not the enemy of me. I would imagine that the only island that we can see is that one in the sky right there. I assume that is where the Emblem of the Sun has to be because we've been to every island since. And hope for the best that we actually come across it and hopefully there will be something good out of it. Look at that thing there. Back over to Hermit Isle. Sorenson's Cliff.
Yeah, Herman, I've got the me I got the ma I got the uh, <clears throat> coral saber. No, I have the master. I have the master sword now. <laughs> Hey, buddy! By finding those two sacred emblems, you have proven you are a true knight of Arcadia. On your travels, <clears throat> you have probably seen an island floating in the sky. The last sacred artifact, the Emblem of Sun, is on that island. The Emblem of Sun is the symbol of the Arcadians, and Sky Island used to be the heart of the Arcadian capital. But when the catastrophe hit, Charloff, the dark force of the creation, lifted a lot, lot bleh, vast mass of land up in the air, people and buildings along with it. We need to get you up there, up to the Sky Island. Because of that sacred package you found at the Great Chronicler's grave, we have a way to get you up to the Sky Island. <clears throat> I just need your help first. I need you to get me a stool. A stool? Where do I go for a stool? You can use anything! Like that's tree stump over there! Or this box! Uh, do we have to hunt for the thing? Okay. So where can we find a stool? I can only imagine... The real only place is to basically buy one. Let's go to Tinker Hell and hopefully get you a, a seat. <laughs> if you want to get to the sky, but first... I need you to do me some uh, shopping. <clears throat> uh, Hermit has lived in the lo life of luxury, you know. It's like, can I just. Can you just sit on anything else? Or does it have to be a specific stool? Well, hopefully, that there will be a stool for purchase somewhere on the shopping island. But I don't see any other shops. Other than that one shop that was in the frozen lands, but we don't need to do that. That's a ship over there, I think. Look at the ships. I wonder if I'd spend 2,000 coins on that. That would be a- this would be a total roadblock for me if this was- This is a big game purchase of some kind. Okay. You said you met the orange in the girl folk? Thanks for going to the sky one? Bwa ha ha ha! Hey, you. I'm gonna talk to you. There's a guy in there. I don't like it. You don't have to look like a brave lad, but I want to check it out if you have the time. I've already been to the old fortress. I'm looking for a stool. Let's to see the fire. Everyone's so jealous with, of Nitti. She got to see the fireworks with you. Mm. I wouldn't say we'd be that jealous, because that was the first time we met. But, uh... No, yeah. <clears throat> you pushed me off the ledge, ma'am. I need to know where I can get a stool. Save my festival. May you still be on your side of endeavors. Hmm. But where can we get a stool? Where's Oceanhorn? I wonder what the last time it was so quiet. Shop! Do you have anything I could buy? No? Air refill, honey. In case you've lost that honey before, it's where you bought it from. That's such a great film. There's big black mustache. Don't go near it. Okay, now I gotta figure out where I need to go next. Where is this stool? I hate to look up a guide, but it's, it's just somewhat simple here. What do you guys say? No, 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 it's time. Uh. I need to get back up to that island and see if the abandoned house would have anything. That's something we need to check out. See if the abandoned house has anything we can use. Where's that cave again? Look down here. But I know we had to use this cave in order to get up to that upper uh, place. So let's keep it going. 
Don't need to attack you. Yeah, see, this is the way to get up this way is to go through here, hit these ladders. Now we're up here. Now we can get to this broken down house. Maybe there is. We weren't here before, but we couldn't do anything here. Like bottles of oil. Alright, alright, alright. There's a stool. Hey, a stool! Can I take this out with me? No, I can't. Oh, I was hoping that'd be a stool, but it's not the one we're looking for. Alright, alright. I hate to do this, but I gotta f figure out where... I just don't know where a stool would have could be. I hate to do this, but I have to look up a guide slightly just to see if I can figure out this out. Because I don't know where this... Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Horn, horn, not horn. Just getting a guide out just so I could see. Just need to figure out where I need to go next, because the game's not getting me anywhere. Do, 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 do. Just tell me. I hate, I hate this. It's so lame for me because I'm not sure where to go next. Oh, pfft. oh, that's dumb of me. I could have just checked his house. I know, it's now I've technically broken the blind playthrough of this, just a slight, but again, the game doesn't outright tell you where to go get this stool. And apparently there's, I think almost everything we can get is on Hermit Island already as, as, we, as to point out that. Okay, well that was a big waste of time on my part, I apologize. That's the second time this game has technically been cryptic on what to do next. So yeah, go get me a stool. Okay, where? That's so... It's so dumb and it's in, in its own right. Alright, let's get back to Hermit Island. Let's go find his stuff. I don't know why he wants this stuff. A stool and a... I don't know what else he wants either. He wants a stool. Can you go get me one? Are you lazy? There's... there's Apparently there's one over here. Oh my goodness, there is one over here. I'm an idiot. I should've just looked around here for one. This is kind of a dumb quest. <laughs> Here's your stool. <laughs> Give me a trouble bed and don't ask questions, just get me one! Fine, fine. I'm suspecting that it's on the island somewhere. So let's go... Actually, I need to check back with the tent. Maybe it's over there. You know, it would not surprise me since I do sleep and I did start this adventure in a tent. So I have to have a travel bed, yes. They call this a travel bed. This is just a mat. <laughs> okay. That's kind of a cryptic. Again, the game didn't tell you where to go to get one, but it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's a stool. You have to find one on the island. I thought I had to go out and buy one, but I guess not. So we'll just carry this thing back to him. 
I want to, you need to save the world, but first give me these things, these mundane tasks. Ugh. All right, hermit, here you go. <clears throat> give me a burning fire bowl. What for? You'll see. A burning fire bowl? Is there one on the island? That's the question. Ow, you little bugger. Okay. So, apparently we can find something of this sort at the cave we started at. I would imagine it has to be there. There, was ha there has to be something there. I would imagine so. <laughs> Some legendary hero I am. I gotta pick up my mundane tasks. Mundane items for a mundane hermit. <laughs> Is that a traveling pot? No, oh, oh, that is one. Aha! I found one! Just make sure I don't drop it in the water. Well, even though I could put, I could potentially light on fire again. Hey! You! Die by my holy sword! There we go. Give me my thing back. I could, that would have fallen in the water. I would have hated myself there after that. I feel like this is making some type of hot air balloon. That's all I can think about. It's like, what do you need? You need a place to sit. Then you need a carpet or a bed to, or a mat of some kind to create something. Wow, you have been busy in the last few seconds of your going. You've been building something here. We need one more thing. The object I'm building cannot be completed without a weather cuckoo. A cuckoo. Can you find one? A little direction. A little cuckoo shaped metal piece that shows when you've got the wind direction. Go and bring me one of those. Aha! <clears throat> He's building me some type of aircraft. That's the only assumption I can think of. Where is one of those things? Oh, wait a minute. Do I see one on top of this island? Let's see if we can find one up there. Is there anyone up here? I don't see one. There's a stool up there, too. You could have gone as well. There has to... Where is one, though? Okay. This is confusing to me. Let's see, can we go... Hmm... Okay. <clears throat> well, we can't find any homes here with that with that <clears throat> wind dial. So now we got to go get a wind dial. And I don't think it's on the island. So let's go and find it. Let's go find one. Back to the shopping town, I guess. That's the only place I know of that has buildings and such that could potentially have it. Oh, it got dark fast. What the? What is going on? <clears throat> what is going on? What island are we on? Sol, Nato, Trito. Hear me 
this one last time. Are you, you're not my dad. Let my boy find a safe path and guide him towards the answers. Destiny never gave him the chance to escape this burden. I'm losing Explain my to me. He's losing his I'm far strength. Away. I'm far away. Lost with this monster, and I don't know how much longer I can retain it. But until yeah, it's not ominous death, at all. <laughs> I, to I totally agree. I do totally, totally agree. No matter what lies ahead. We will be fighting along your side. Hmm. Saul, Nato, Trito. So we need to get Saul, the emblem of the sun. Okay, that was weird. Um. Uh, let's go back. Let's keep heading over to town. That was. That is very ominous. <laughs> Just had a restless sleep last night? Oh, same, sir. I somehow wound it onto a mysterious island of some kind while still awake. Alrighty. So I. Th there has to be one here. This little wind dial. There has to be a wind dial here in some fashion. Oh, aha! There's one. There's what we're talking about. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna take this. I take this. I like this. Don't mind me. I think I actually took. Is that off it? Yeah, I took it off the guy. I basically saved his uh, fireworks display. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hey, is that boy? No, 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 sir. No, no. This is not. This is something I bought. I bought this. With my non-existent money. Quick, on the boat. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Back to the Hermit Isles. Where to go? There's Hermit Isle. Let's go. Onward. I have my little thing. <laughs> hey, that kid. He just stole my wind vane. No, I didn't. Nope. I'm the hero, don't you know? I don't steal. I know from... I know the fact that since heroes are exempt from all laws. <laughs> We're gonna break all this stuff up here. Get some more coins. I think I need a thousand if I want another heart container, which I'm hoping to get to here closely. Yeah! <laughs> this looks awkward. <laughs> like, I'm picking this thing up. Alrighty. Eh. Eh. I found your little doodad. I had to steal it. Uh, buy, <clears throat> buy it. Yes, buy it. Buy it from the, from the house. Excellent. You've managed to get all the supplies we need. Now drag your boat over here. Yes, you heard me. You're ready to go. What are you putting on my boat? <laughs> what? Oh, he built us a hot air balloon. I figured it out. Wait a minute. Where did he get the motor from? <laughs> I don't re Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we got the print of air travel. <laughs> we can fly. Woohoo! Yeah! Don't need to buy the water. I can fly now. <laughs> Let's -a go. Huzzah! They're taking us directly to that island. Well, it doesn't for my thing to blow up when it needs to. Of course. Of course. Oh no! Ah! Well, there goes my boat. <laughs> when I was a lad, I met a girl who said she had fallen from the sky. Mary. 
I always called her the Princess of the Sky. She said she had lost her memory, but whenever she looked at that island in the sky, I could see a longing in her eyes. Did she really come from the sky? I would imagine so, because I can't get off this island now. <laughs> We're stuck here. <laughs> My boat is ruined! That hermit's going to have to pay for a new boat. Telescope. You see the world below. Uh, what else can we do here? Well, we're going to have to get a boat now. We're going to have to buy one. Oh, that's going to be... That's going to be a pain in the foot. Well, I can't push you that way or that way. Or that way either. Okay, so it means you're not part of any puzzle. If you come to think of it, this island's not really that high off the ground. That sounds like bombs are needed right here. I missed. No. Booyah. <laughs> one step, one fatal step, and you're done for. Bloodstone? I'll take that for ya. The blood, break the bloodstone and it falls into the water. Well, dang it. <laughs> well, so much for that. Let's see, what's this here? This looks something ominous. That is something I can't break apart. Okay. Ooh, got five bombs. I'll take those bombs. Wait, that's mechanical. Whoa, 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 whoa! We're gonna take Bemos now? <laughs> there has to be something on this island that I can use to defeat these things. This island is not being held up by magic, it's held up by something. There's pipes everywhere. These here is bow and arrow, which means I have to use it. Go grand core. Hmm, that must be the emblem of the sun right there in that statue. But how do I jump up there? How does one get around this island? Ow, ow, ow. Hmm. I can't move this block. Can't move the block. Oh, well, I can interact with this thing. Wow, you can see your home island from here. There's your house and the swimming spot you used to go to with your dad. Oh, well, that's... The home island. Home island revealed. Wait, what? I had a home island? I thought I was living on the island with the hermit. <laughs> So I have a new I have a new homeland apparently. Can I blow this thing up then? No, I can't blow it up. What about spells? Can I put a spell on this thing? No, I can't. I got a coin out of it, though. That's something good, I guess. <laughs> you welcome yourself to a new island. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with it. <laughs> Can I jump down here? No, I can't. Okay. Again, I'm stuck on this island. I can't get off it now. Is there something I can read or hints I can get? There has to be something I can do to, to destroy that Bemos character. But I'm not sure as to how to do it. 
Hmm. Okay, the shield did nothing. That did nothing either. There has to be something I have to do. But what do I do? That door is closed. Oh, there's a bow and arrow slot up there. Okay, I see the target. Hit there. There we go. Okay, that brings that down. So now we can get across. Hope we don't die by this thing. Okay. Okay, this is a way to get back around if we need to. The checkpoints. Hey. Ow. Okay, that's a little. That's deadly. Uh, bombs. Take bombs in the face. Hey, don't run away from me. Ow. Okay, fine. Bombs in the face. <laughs> Defeat every kind of monster in the game. Oh, so we've seen every enemy that the game has to offer. Which is not very much, apparently. Well, again, this game was a mobile was a mobile game, to be fair. So I, I'm okay with a limited pool, a limited pool of range. But hopefully, the sequel to this game, Ocean Horn Two, is that's coming out this year. Apparently, I hope that the There'll be more, much of more enemy variety, because that'd be really nice. And hopefully it comes to the Switch, because I'll definitely, I'll definitely stream it. Okay. Hey, there's, there's something lively. Hey! Ah! Who on earth are you? Oh, sorry! <laughs> Thought you want to see a nice familiar face! Welcome to my shop. What would you like to have? See, I can't... I want to get a thousand so I can get another heart container so I can get more hearts and more magic to use. But I need bombs, though. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. What an amazing looking old fortress. What could be in there? <clears throat> so, oh, this is a, well, this must be the sky people. Did you come here from the land beneath? You should see Grandmaster Ludwig. He's on the Grandmaster study. He's in the Grandmaster study. Hmm. I'll definitely take a look. So these guys have been observers to us here down on Earth, or whatever this planet is. Grand Core was the mighty power source of the ancient Arcadia. It used to be the inter interconnected to all the islands under the Arcadian regime. Communication machines. Everything worked through the Grand Core, because Grand Core, we had access to old archives, and we could even use some of its computing power. Too bad nobody could understand the code. What's this letter? Does this letter have anything to say? Nope, doesn't have nothing. Okay. I'll take your stool right there. Yeah. I'll take your bombs. I like bombs. <laughs> bombs are useful. <laughs> it's the thing I've been using the most in this entire playthrough. Check some more bombs. Anything up here? Nope, there's nothing up there. Let's see what this place has. Is this the Grandmaster Study? So I live to see the day, the daring youngster with a flying machine. It was a haphazard one. Canadian Grandmaster Ludwig, welcome to Sky Island. Well, thank you. 
We are all descendants of Arcadians. Triloth, the dark energy of creation, lifted this mass of land and separated us from the surface a thousand years ago. Then why did you guys not just shut off the engine? You are seeking the emblem of sun. That reminds me of the old days. Hmm. We had a tradition. Every year, a young maiden was chosen to represent Sol, goddess of light. She was given the emblem of sun, and she would give joy to our people. Twenty years ago, we faced a horrible tragedy. A scholar studying the Arcadian Code went mad. He said he had listened to a ghost in the machine that had promised to bring Sky Island back to the ground. All he needed was the emblem of sun. In our Wait, we've seen that necklace somewhere before. Wait, what? She's the one that fell out of the sky. And then they found my father. So this girl that fell out of the sky was no the mother was of our, of us. The emblem of sun was lost ever since. With your airship broken, there's no way to go back to the ground now. Oh, I could jump off. I could probably survive. But don't worry. You'll get used to living here after a while. <laughs> I like my tent. Thank you very much. That must be the person that's mad. For all the events of the surface, when we write down everything we see, we have dedicated our lives to making the down the history of the kingdom before and after the catastrophe. Feel free to look through our archives. This is a book about myself and his forbidden magic. It seems he wasn't a very likable person. <laughs> Anything else you want to see? There's a fire thing here. Let's grab this. And... Right here, like those two things on fire. And they come over here. Is there a chest over here? We have tried to get this down to, to get down to land without success. The only way to do that is to shut down their terminal light engine in the island core called Grand Core. Unfortunately, the entrance to the island is shut. If we only had bombs, caverns on our island reach far and deep. We could plant a bomb at the ver at the cables under the island core entrance. Yes, yes, it could work. Well, I have bombs. That'd be useful. One of my ancestors was here when Methroth called to Arcadia, calling Troiloth. We had our best defenses waiting for him. Three magnificent machines, living fortresses called Oceanhorn, Sea Lork, and Everusto. But it was all in vain. In the blink of an eye, Troiloth expanded, eating all the light in its path. After the morning, Arcadia only existed in our memories and dreams. Our protectors, the living fortresses, got corrupted by Troiloth and started seeking their lost masters. For years we followed the events of the surface, but we never saw any sign of Mezeroff. It seems likely he got killed in the catastrophe himself. So, are we to assume now that Oceanhorn is not really the main bad guy at this point? Grand Core is controlled with sacred emblems. We'd not be able to turn it off, even if we got inside, but we'd have to have faith. But this is a hard, this is a hard for a scientist. This is a book about Archimedes. It tells many engaging stories about the discovery of Terminite and the creation of the living fortresses. Study Arcane History! Yay! More experience! And we're level 10! You've earned a new adventure level! You're a voyager! Jumping and rolling now consumes less stamina! Your items have also been refilled! Nice! Chronological Events, Volume 2857. On the third of summer, a scholar witnessed a historical moment. An altar wielding a red sword confronted by confronted the living fortress Sealock on Riptide Reef. 
The battle lasted for hours, and our people gathered to follow it with their telescopes. Sea Lork rushed into the final attack, splitting laser and grenades from its guts. But the wounded Aru still had courage in him. He dodged the attack and lunged his red sword into the Sea Lark's head. Hmm. But that does not explain the. But that does not explain the magic that is that treasure chest, which is still not present on this. What do I have to do? Wait. Well, I can't move that. There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> it just dropped and it bounced. <laughs> How did that work? Do I have to have another torch? Put it right there. Okay, let's check this other side. Ah, an outsider. Fascinating, but I'm more interested in machines. You probably saw the metal gate on your way here. The gate leads to the island core. And to a machine responsible for keeping this island afloat. We have been trying to turn it off for hundreds of years. Scientists like me have lost their minds in solving the ancient Arcadian core code. So far, we haven't even been able to enter the island core. The entrance is shut tight. Okay, okay, I get you. But how did I get that chest again? That chest dropped and then it rose itself off the ground. You can't push the chest or the statues anyway Do I have to light only two of the torches? Come on now There has to be I saw the chest drop, but I don't know what what triggered it though. I am not sure what triggered it. Hmm. Okay. Well, wait. There's something above, isn't there? Listen. They're not telling you the whole truth. There's a way to get out of here. Find a key hidden in the Grand Master's study that is used to enter the caverns nearby. Go to the far end of the cave and meet me there. If you need a hint, find the red book in the nearby house. Red book? Red book, red book. First, I'm gonna go back upstairs. <laughs> We know a lot about the lands below. Oh, yes we do. Everyone has heard the story of the girl who got away. I wish I could be like her. Just soar down to the adventures below. I wonder what happened to her. Hmm, well you could the uh... <sighs> that must be the infamous graveyard island on the horizon. A new island has been revealed to us. A new island revealed. Graveyard island. A red book of the nearby house. I need to find a red book. Red book! Face the night of old and remember to light up the torches still cold. So there's torches I need to find. Okay. I guess that makes some sense, I guess. Oh, there's something around here. Okay, let's go that way then. I love it now that this, this new upgrade allows me to use the dodge roll much more frequently now. Oop. Hoorah! This is where she dropped. 
This is where that lady dropped at. She got up here without having to use the trotting boots. I feel kind of, I can feel kind of gypped. This person was able to use the jump, was able to jump without boots. <laughs> got experience, 100 XP out of that, wow. Cool. Okay. So that's what that those statues are representing for. They're saying the person who basically fell. The storm cellar. I need a key for that though. Ow. I let that happen for some reason. Bird, you got in my way. I'm sorry, Bird, but you got you got in the way of the hero. Do, 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 do. It was an un to the cold unlit torches. What's in here? Okay, there's a cave. Okay, we can't do anything with, apparently. Unless... Okay, I need to find another cave entrance and meet him there. There's the mysterious man. So there's him. Okay, so where do we go from there? It must be there, so we must light up the torches. Get out of here, you bloody bird. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, yet you're still going to attack me. Okay, so I need to light up the torches that are cold. But what does he mean by the torches of cold? I can't move that statue. I'm gonna die because the bird won't leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> so we have to light up the tor the red torches that are gone out cold. How do we do that? Your bugs. I need my bombs back, thank you. Hate to be moving around, messing around. This is awkward. <laughs> Let's go read what that book says again, because I don't remember. Well, why did I do that? I just wasted my own bomb. Put my boots back on. Okay. That's like that, like that. Okay, find the red book again and read it. If I need a hint, check the red book. So, what does it say? Face the night of old and remember to light up the torches still cold. Face the night of old, and remember the light up, the torch is still cold. Is that treasure chest the... Ooh, is that treasure chest the... In here, the one that has that key. Oh, wait. There we are. There's our key! Cool. That figured that out. You got a regular key. Well, let's use that regular key on that cave. 
that cave locked door we saw. Do, 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 do. No, I don't want to go up here. No. Dodge roll off the cliff. Wow. Okay. Well, we see the locked door now. Let's use it. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay. Our first little instance here on the uh, coat on the sky island. Can I jump down there? No, I can't. Ah, you. Give me your XP and your hearts. So I'm going to need every single one of them. Okay, there's a chest over here. Or would be. Hmm. There's a locked door over here, too. So maybe there's a key somewhere nearby. How about. There's a bomb on this sector of ground here. Nothing. But I got a bomb bag out of it, though. I got two bombs back. Do I have to face this thing? No, I don't. Uh, let's see here. Oh, check those. Check those. Bombs. Apparently, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need a lot of bombs. Okay. Well, it's nothing there we can't do with. We need another key. So let's go find another key. There's another chest. Curse these bats! <laughs> these bats are everywhere. Good. I can take them down in one hit now, thanks to this legendary blade. The blade does look cool, I'm not gonna lie. It looks simple, but it looks at least it's better than our standard sword we've had earlier. And bombs! Maximum amount of bombs. Okay. But I need... I need a key, though. I need a way to get around here. Anything here we can go? No? Okay. So. Okay, the treasure chest technically holds the key we need, but we need to know somehow how to trigger it. So, what do we do to trigger the Ellie to trigger the thing? Bomb everything. Bomb everything. Okay, that didn't work out. Get out of here. Do I need to light this thing on fire? That didn't do anything, and I wasted mana. Can I not push this thing? Oh, I can. Cool. Not sure what to do about it, but we got our key. Nice! Regular key. To open said regular door. It's a it's a giant rat. We'll take care of that giant rat and go have more bombs. Let's do this. There's pipes everywhere. I'd say though, this is some some good feat of engineering. I see the solution, but I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's that simple. Well, let's prove me wrong.
push the boxes on there. And by curiosity law, that should open up. It did not open. And we can't. And they put that switch underneath a underneath a shelf to prevent you from doing that particular reason. Oh, this is a bobble wall. I figured as much. It only made sense. Okay. Not sure there's the reason why you want to reset, but... Alrighty, cool. So we get our, uh, we get our little boots back on. And we can jump across. Huzzah. Checkpoints. Loving the checkpoints. Checkpoints are awesome. And we got enemies that keep popping out of the ground. Ah, you're right here. Yes, yes, this is the place. You see the machinery up there, up the stairs? Uh, yeah. Throw your bomb right there. Oh, what'd you know? Look at that. Doors open now. Your mother's necklace is missing. What? He stole our necklace! Clear the entrance to Grand Core. Oh, they gave us a lot of experience for that. Look at that. Holy wow. Hmm. Apparently our gold necklace is missing. That guy stole it off of us. We just can't let that happen. We gotta get that back. He's a bugger. No, no, you're not getting away from me. We're gonna get that necklace back. It's my mother's necklace and you stole it from me, you little, little prick. Well, I'm gonna take you out. But how do you get to that chest? There's no way to get there. Who cares? I'm not worried about a chest right now. I'm worried about my mother's necklace. Come back here. The Grand Core. Welcome to Grand Core. You're now stepping inside the greatest arcading achievement. This mega structure is a hub of communication, an energy source, and the brain that enabled our kingdom's growth and prosperity. Today, Grand Core is connected to even the remote places on Gaia. Maintenance sector. Warehouse sector. Okay. I guess this is our dungeon for the Sky Island. We got bombs. Well, I guess go with the warehouse sector first. But we're gonna need to use our bombs here. Oh, I missed. Lame. I keep missing. <laughs> I'm trying to hit that. All right, let's try magic. That worked. That worked faster than the bombs did. Okay, we can jump across the warehouse sector. Hey, we've seen these enemies before. So are we to assume the guy that's been technically putting these enemies on us, um, part of Sky Island. He must have found a way to get off the island and able to create havoc upon the land. That and the Dark Apostle. So we can't jump off of there, so... Let's go back down. That spike ball that can move constantly freaks me out, though. Hmm. 
Okay, can't move those. Can't move that guy. Can I move this thing? Yes, I can. Boom, yeah. Like that. Booyah! Door open! Hmm. <laughs> but what's down here? Nothing? That looks like a shortcut after we get the Ooh, there's an enemy. There's a giant rat! Oh, no wonder the Grand Corps is going hazy. We got rats everywhere! Well, thanks for pushing this down. We can now have access to this button. We can now push down with this block. Oh, I just had to push it. There we go. What do we get? A regular key. We must use the regular key on a new sector of the land. It's nothing here, though. We gotta go to the other district and see what we can do there. Let's go back up. Booyah! Take that with us. If the session goes a little bit longer tonight, that'll be for because we want, I want to complete the dungeon at least tonight. I wasn't sure how fast we're going to get to the next dungeon, so. You can turn that and that opens up the door. But what's the storage sector get? Oh, there's a bloodstone! Right out in the middle of nowhere! We can get that real quick. Ow! I did not see you appear. You like walked around the opening of that door. Let's head this way and see what we got here. We got a time, we got a reset puzzle. We got to push. Block one of them off. Oh. Go, 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 go. Yes! Aha! Oh, wait, we can, we can push this, can we? Or what do we do? Uh, bows and arrows. That does nothing. We are blocked. Hmm. I need to push this. Or do I need to pull it? Hmm. I need to blow up that up, but it looks like we're gonna have to. Come on. Fine, I'll just place it here. Ow. Okay. Or do we have to push the ancient warrior? Okay, that didn't nothing. Okay, what do I do? I don't have any ways to continue this sector. Because something I have to do uses these items, and I don't know what these items do. So let's check back with that rock door we unlocked earlier and see what we can get from there. If these things would just stop there. There we go. Oh, why'd I do that? I keep wasting it because I keep forgetting. I, I keep forgetting I have the notification. I think I... I keep thinking that the the boot is a permanent upgrade that you don't have to switch back to, which which it should be. 
which it really should be. <laughs> But let's see about that room, though. Let's go... I have no- I have no enough bombs to deal with you! Well, there's the master door. I can't move the boxes. Okay... Maybe enemies here. The showroom. Oh, that's, that, that's full of baloney right there. Come on, hit this thing. Come on. Aha! That's what those do. Ow! So I need something that can move those items with then. Because that's how I'm supposed to figure that out. Show them down here too. That brings those down. What do we got here? Welcome to the showroom! You will find the historical artifact, the Shield of Kronos, in the room to your right. Please mind your surroundings. Security in the showroom is extremely tight. So that must be our item, the uh, a mirror shield. <laughs> so we need to get up there. First, I need some hots. Can I get hots? No, I got bombs. I got full of mana, so we can use this. I didn't raise that up like I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Okay, now I understand. I understand this now. We use magic now to hit this switch. And then we use our magical jumping boots of glory. But we need a key though. There's the chest that's holding them that shield. But we need that key. I think we can jump like this. Huzzah. Oop. Huzzah. Huzzah. Get the bloodstone. That's right here. Come on. Thank you. This should be a key. I think this has to be. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, arrows. Arrows? I need a key, though. I need a key. Where do I get said key? Okay. I need to reactivate this thing though. How do I reactivate the thing? You know how to get how do I trigger this thing? That doesn't do me any good. So what item do I use that can cross this thing to Oh, I have to hit it. Do I have to hit it with a bone arrow? Can the bone arrow work? No it doesn't. I have to hit this thing again in order to make it work. So I hit it with 
commit this, I get that to turn on. So, bow and arrow doesn't do any good. Bombs might do something. Nope, oh, and I walked it off. No, I need that mana. <sighs> okay. So, I'm going to use... Like that. Get my... Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so I was wrong. Get that. Now I can jump over. Jump, jump, jump. Or do I use this? This would be useful, I would imagine. Tricky puzzle indeed. No, the jar doesn't stop it. Okay. Well, it says I have to use arrows. But why would I have to use arrows when I have to whack the thing to stop it? I need to know this. How do I do this? This is... This is becoming a little tedious. Now that I'm going to run out of mana. Now we jump... Up. Curse this game sometimes. Okay. Why are you why are you making me fall off like that? That's not fair, game. That is not fair. Uh let's see. I know what I have to do, it's just how do I get it to trigger? Hmm. This is tricky because I have to trigger this. Can I trigger? I know I can trigger switches with magic. I know I can. I think I can. Let's check. If we switch those, that comes down, those goes up. So if I trigger this again... Again, I am almost out of mana. I hate to go back to the store and to buy stuff. Yeah, I can, re I can reach the camera. Can the camera reach that button? No, it does not hit. Ugh. Okay. Well, that was my last. That was my last man I could technically use. So, what do I do? It's been extremely tight. I need to find some way of triggering that button while still being over here. This is not fair. <laughs> this is not fair. Do, 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 do. Uh, because I have to use something to trigger that. And I'm out of magic now. Bows don't do anything. Bombs don't do anything. It's only the boot I can use right now. And magic, but I don't have enough magic anymore. Yeah. 
to give me bombs. Like, I don't need bombs anymore. So what, I have to get this to stop. Trigger this. Or... Okay, let's... We have to check the guide here somewhat. Let that load up because I'm out of magic. I have to go find more magic. Or just leave the dungeon and come back with, uh, with a mana refill. Is annoying. I, I don't get it. Like I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I. It's weird that it's not triggering, and it irks me. Something fierce. Okay, I've got magic. Okay. So, okay, so the jar, so the jar is reset. So, okay, according to what I'm seeing on the guide here, is I pelled up a guide just so I get this room. Because apparently this room is supposed to be a pain in the foot. First, hit the switch so the blocks go into the floor. Take the pot from the corner of the room. Place it on the block directly in front of the hero here. Okay. Then split the hit spring wind fill on the right to make your attached blocks go lower. Then hit it again quickly so the blocks so you are raised up with the blocks jump to the platform to the right with the boots. Oh, oh wait, this can work. Oh, it can work. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 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 I think we got this. I think we got this now. So what we need to do is hit a pot. Have a pot thrown here. Dropped here. Hit this. Or do we need to have a pot on top of there? Oh, the pots don't go on these things, do they? Nope, they do not. Okay, so I need to drop the pot here. You get up here now. Use my magic. Trigger that. Get the boots. Jump this way. So then, hit the switch. Oh, come on! Oh, I would have had enough time for it too! Okay, I now have it. I just wish it didn't roll off the block when I did that. That's so annoying. Okay. Alright, let's trigger that. Make that go up. Oh, curses. Hit you off. Okay, dropping the jar just makes that go down. Okay. I can hit this now. I can hit this. Oh, 
I don't know how I did that, but that works. That totally works. Okay. What? I don't... Curses! I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Gotta jump. But it's not letting me jump. I'm, I wish it wasn't... If, if this was not a timed puzzle, I think that I would have had a better... I think I would have a little better result from this. I know what I can do, but it's just, it's so annoying to trigger. Get that magic back. This is... Like if I could just, I'm just so, I'm, a, I'm an impatient person. Okay. We hit the switch. Go down here. Hit this. Hit this switch here. Grab the thing. I, I dodge rolled off the wall. Man, I'm running out of jars for this. I have to reset the room. Like, I almost had it. I know what I have to do now. But it's just... It's so... So picky. I've got the timing. I've got the timing correct. I just now have to do it correctly. This is a very cryptic puzzle, I'm going to say. I'm not going to lie. You wouldn't find this in Zelda. What if I have to... Can I actually trigger the thing to go down? First off. Because I have to turn this down. Get the thing. Grab this. Chuck it on the thing. Jump across. We got it! Yes! Haha! <laughs> that only took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> Do I have any bombs left? I do have bombs left. Get out of here. Oh, I missed. No, thank you. I'll just leave. I just want the chest that would appear here. Oh, there's a bow and arrow target. Cool. Awesome. You got a regular key. Awesome. That's what we want to see. We don't have the master key though, do we? Uh -huh. I can jump across that. Oh, this is water. Oh, I thought that was something burning. <laughs> Arrows. Okay. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of this little predicament I'm in now? I have to go up here and I have to... You think I could just... There we go. So we have the key. So now I just have to get back up there and activate, the, and activate that. So this is easy. This is easy. But I'll tell you, that puzzle! <laughs> I hate that puzzle for the record. I really, really do. But we're gonna get the shield, though. Hit that. That goes up. Jump, jump, and jump. Open door. 
And there is their chest. There is our chest. Let me get the shield. You found the shield of Kronos. The legendary artifact reflects full spectrum of light. Yeah, our mirror shield is finally here at long last. This is the shield of Kronos. It was designed by Archimedes before the creation of the living fortresses. The shield of Kronos was used to defend the Arcadia in the first dire folk war. It reflected the sunlight and caused enemy ships to burst into flames. Later, Archimedes used the same reflective technology in the death rays of the living fortresses. You know, you could have used that something better than death rays. Let's be fair here. <laughs> somehow, it's kind of sad how you figure, if you think about technology, that you just like, Ah, oh, we invented new technology! This will benefit mankind greatly! How can we use this for war? <laughs> Ah, uh, no! Okay, now we got this. Now we have this shield. Oh, look at that! Ooh, that's cool! That's a cool effect! Uses some stamina, though. Which, again, this shield always uses stamina. Uh, knowing that we just had a, uh, a... I'm gonna die, probably, there. Most likely. Alright, so now we can go back... into the storage area. Or the other thing there. And uh, hope for the best. This dungeon is, seems to be really short. I'm going to go for a little bit longer tonight. Just because I just you know had that dumb fart there for this. And I want to also complete the dungeon as well. So. I hate to end the session while in the middle of a dungeon. That just doesn't make me. Doesn't make me doesn't, doesn't make me feel right. So now we're back here. We can go back here now, and now we can reflect this enemy's light. Come on, baby. That opens that, but I want to open this one. Hey! Ah! Oh, I died. <laughs> Okay, well at least we know how to use this shield, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to use this shield to block the enemy's projectile back at the guy, the main bad guy of this dungeon. So let's go, yeah. We'll go for another half hour if we can, uh, to see if the dungeon will end at that point. I want to see what this does. Come on. Open that door there too. Ooh. What does this uh, give us? It's a switch. In emergency, use this button to release the security key to the Grand Core. Oh, but I gotta... But I gotta put something on it, though, don't I? Well, we certainly have some jaws here. I don't think jars stand on switches though, but we'll give it a shot. Yes, we do. Cool. Okay, so we can't head that direction, but at least we got this. We have the way open now. Good thing I went this way first. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. I have to say, I really do like the aesthetic of this dungeon. It's so different from the others. We had, because we had a, a grove, we had an ancient grove, then we had a, a temple full of ice, and now we have, you know, a, a place where it's just basically just a, a factory. You know, this is technically a factory developing all these weapons of war. It's another pressurized switch. Temporary cooling flood. Use with caution. Okay. 
That allows us to get here, right? Hit that thing to shut off, and when we get here, bombs! Bombs, bombs, bombs. Another treasure chest up here. One of these has got to have the master key in it. At least something has the master key in it. Well, actually, no, this wouldn't have the master key. It'd be that chest we opened earlier. So we go back around and we can get back here to the exit. Ow! Mills hearts. Right, so what do I need to use this for? Can't push that that way. Okay, I need to get up there. How do I get up there, though? Did I miss it before? I must have in some fashion. Go, 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 go! What the? <laughs> um, uh... What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the water, the water switch was trying to go down, and somehow I just fell through the existing water flow. That, <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> Why is this game being glitchy now, <laughs> when I don't need it to be? This is the most. This has been the most interesting session. With the most weirdy things and everything, it just seems so out of weirdly place. <laughs> right, we can get back over here, we can grab this chest. The Master Key! Cool. And we'll just drop into the water. Oh, please don't glitch out on me. I don't want to happen what happened last session with the, with the Cavern of Fire. Getting stuck on a wall. There's a bloodstone there. I can grab there too. And we got a golden gear. It's worth 50 coins. Hey, we got enough to buy a heart container. Do that. So I guess we need to head back to the main sector. The main region and hope for the best. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the button. Go, go, go! <laughs> cool. Awesome. Come on now! Ow! Don't mean to do that to me! Now you can stop blowing your fire! Say stop. I whack you with my sword. The legendary sword, no less. Alright, so now we can go back down. There's something over there we haven't even looked at yet. Woo Let's use, uh, we can use magic or we could use bombs. Use bombs and blow that baby up. Ow. Yeah, here. here. Oh, there's a master chest. There's two master chests. Okay, how do you... Get out of here, you... Awkward sword thingy. Okay, so I need to break these boxes. So can I just put a bomb uh, here? Drop it there, run away. And then I can just jump over. Master chess! We get arrows. And what do we get? Bombs! So that was not worth it. Chest. 
Okay, well, ow. Give me hearts. Okay, give me a few hearts. Okay, grab those things, because we're potentially this is the boss. That behind there is the boss door. So, hope for the best. Let's see what we got. After we beat this dungeon, I'll just end the session here. So, let's do this! Why isn't this working? What am I missing? Do you hear me, master? Ooh. Well, I'm getting my necklace back, thank you. The gods, emblems of creation. The order will be restored. I will resurrect as your god. What? You? Who are you? Shadow Mezeroff! Space Spiritus Ex Machina! All right. That's how you hurt him. Cause we got the shield in the dungeon. Might as well use it, right? What does if we light this on fire? What does this do? Oh, I didn't mean to do that right there. Okay. Come on. Well, at least the good thing the camera follows where he's at, so I'm not lost. Well, I am doing slightly damage to him by just blocking his own magic projectiles back at him. What? Yeah! Yeah! Eat it! Alright, these boss battles are getting easier and easier. Oh no, what is he triggering now? Looks like lasers to me, or things. I need hearts. Let's give me arrows. Do I need to use arrows? It looks like I'm gonna have to use arrows. Oh! Oh! I have to reset from square one. Alright, round two. That's the first time we've died to a boss, and there's no checkpoints. Come on, you. Where's my like, shield I've had before? Okay. Ooh, that blocks him something fierce. Go, 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 go! Alright, cool, rats. Do I need to hit these things to make them stop moving? I don't know how to defeat this boss right now. Okay, I have to hit these to stop them from running. Okay, makes sense to me. Ow! Come on, you. Come on! It's facing this one. Come on! I can take him down in two cycles. Come on, we can do it! Come on! No! He is at one sliver of health! <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh. No! Ah! Oh, I we were almost there. <laughs> Curses. Well, we don't need to use arrows. That's for something sure. No. I need my heart to full out, you little bugger. Okay. Okay. All right. Third time's the charm. Third time is the charm. But now we know how to take this guy down. So I have to have at least a little bit of magic in order to activate that little blue shield that goes around me. It's facing this one, so we're going to attack this thing right off the bat. Take that. Spiritual messer off. Again, I think it's supposed to make me use arrows in order to take these things down, but I don't think they react to the things. Okay. Here we go. Now I know what to do to take these laser guns down is to stop all those things from appearing. Hit that. You know what? Since we're not using bows, I can use this. Huzzah! Dodge everything. All right, come on, baby. Oh, you missed. Come on, you. You're not much of a threat. Those guns were more a threat than you. Come on, you old bugger. Oh, you missed. Ha-ha! Go for you. Oh, come on. Oh, he's using the... He's gonna oh he's triggering the things again. Oh, so they weren't gonna be just a one trick pony. Go. Come on you. I want you to get I want you to die. You deserve to die, you little devil thing, whatever. You're facing your, the camera's facing towards this one, which is the real one, which is kind of destroys the idea of having three different spirit orbs for your devil's essence. Ah, oh, back to one sliver of health. But at least I know what to do now. All right, come on, you. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Take that! That's done! My defeat means nothing. It has already begun. No matter, I took you down! The necklace we've had from the start of the game. Whoa! It was the it was the emblem all along. Wow! We've been carrying the emblem of the sun with us the entire time. Earth prosper under my radiance. Together with the other gods, we restore the land. So we got the three emblems. They combine to make a new emblem. And the I the Sky Island is no more. It's now a normal island now. We still don't have a boat. How no do we get off this island? To describe our gratitude. You brought back the hope that Arcadia can be restored. Grand Core is back in the power grid. Its power flows through the ancient kingdom. Well, that's good to hear. We were shocked to find out Mesmeroth's spirit was lurking inside our machines all this time. I'm afraid the program is still active, and its purpose is to resurrect Mesmeroth himself. Well, I'll be able to stop him. 
With the no problem. Mesmeroth interface destroyed, the only way for Mesmeroth's resurrection is to move into another machine. And the only Arcadian machine left is Living Fortress Oceanhorn. Well, then we gotta stop Oceanhorn. But for the first time in the history of Sky People, our studies pay off. We can open the door to Arcadia Ruins for you. Sweet. And you made us a boat again. There. Your boat is fixed. You are now ready to sail to the Arcadia Ruins. A new island has been revealed. Alrighty, folks. Gone over this a little bit, but that is fine. But that is going to conclude this session of Oceanhorn. A lot of plot dump. We had uh, our first death in a boss fight. We got a nice new shield. We got the legendary sword, the Coral Saber. And we have a few islands to discover, as well as going to where Oceanhorn may be at long last. But that is all I have for tonight. If you guys like this session of Oceanhorn, please hit that heart icon up there. I'd really appreciate the help out to support the channel. And when this gets to YouTube, please like it and subscribe for more content. I also have a Discord. The link to that is in the panels below, as will be in the description below at when this is on YouTube. My Discord is there for any type of uh, voice chat, as well as knowing where I'm going to be sharing where I'm going to stream first. There, then it'll be on my Twitter, which will be on the end card here very shortly. So, with that said, everyone, you guys have a fantastic night, and take care, and we'll see you guys back here for another stream.